You are looking at Overunity 36 of my invention. Um, what I've been doing is I've been working on it lately, been doing some upgrades. Uh, as you notice, I uh, took this in here and drilled these holes. I want to make this end of the lever arm a little bit lighter. And that I, it seems like it works much better than that. I've been uh, testing out, uh, I'm going to put different uh, weights in here. I'm going to start running some tests on here pretty soon too to see what I can get it down to on it and see if it's necessary. Uh, I put like a bigger magnet down inside here. You can see I'm going to run some tests on that. I'm going to show you what's going on on this. I've been drawing up different types of coils. Um, this one right here has got a lot of magnet wire around it. You know, I'm just, just testing different grades of wire. Uh, I've been testing like 25 gauge, 24 gauge, and 22 gauge. That's what I'm in. It seems like you're trying to get a little bit of voltage with some amps. I mean, you could have all the volts in the world, and if you don't have an amp to support it, you haven't got anything really. So that's what you need to do: is have some amps, have some volts. I'm testing their, all these different configurations. Found out you don't really need a lot of magnet wire around there. It's just a lot of it. Uh, it's just how perfect you wrap it. That's a lot of it. You know. I mean, if you wrap that coil just as perfect, coming back and forth, it makes a huge difference. And that's one of the things I found out. Um, some other things in that. Um, I'm finding out I was running something like this and that, and it was uh, we're probably you're making heat like this is uh, right here. This is basically what you had here. Let me pull this little washer off here. This is basically what you have down inside this motor, and then there's a coil that's basically like this. This when I was generating, I noticed one of the things is when I would put it on load, this would heat up really hot. And you're talking, this is on the outside of it, and this core's in, on the inside of it. They build this electromagnet wire with different types of heat values. There's some, the more, a uh, higher heat value you get, the more expensive the electric, the magnet wire. The thinner the magnet wire, the more expensive it is. So what you're doing is, you're building up heat when you're running your typical generators and you're using electromagnets like this here. These electromagnets you're not really gaining anything. You're using electricity to make electricity and I ran tests on it. I put magnet cores in there just to see how much it is. You'd be surprised at how much of a loss that is in typical generators in that. This uh, technology has only been possible because recently these uh, these magnets have been out, and these magnets haven't been out that long. Where they they do it, you could go onto YouTube and you could see the process of making them, and that and uh, it's quite involved in that. But the technology I'm showing is you're, you're going to have expenses in the magnets, but you're going to be generating power in that. Let me show you something here. I'm going to run this and show you how a little magnetic drag this thing is. Um, push this down in so you're going to see a pull back up you're going to see very little fluctuation. Get it guys. Like I said, it, it does just shut it down. Now, I'll touch this down here, pull it 
down and show you how much the, I could get. I can barely touch it with my finger. Well, so. down. What I'm trying to show you is how, how little magnetic drag. I could run this thing for a long time and put my finger on this coil and not feel one bit of heat whatsoever. So that's only telling me that this thing is very unique. Another thing is I'm going to show you is I can unhook this right here, this motor And it doesn't take much to turn this over right here. I mean, it just very little does it take to turn this over to generate power. So what you're talking about is your typical generator, you're talking like 4,000 RPMs or whatever it is, and you're generating heat. You got all that, and then you're using magnets to make energy to make electricity so you're making magnets to make you're, you're using electricity to make electricity in other words like this coil over here similar I made you know you put like iron in it you plug it in it picks up stuff you release it these magnets here if you wrap coil wire on them, they're already aligned as much as they can so you're really not going to gain anything from those magnets. So that's what I found out. I found out that uh, this thing could has a lot of uses in it. You know, um, right now I think you, if you look at the lakes and stuff, there's like a hundred thousand lakes out there without, they just spill the water in the United States. A hundred thousand lakes. Could you imagine if you could have this and you could be having that water turn in this thing and it doesn't take much and you could be having rows of these. This is a commercial model. This is a concept model. I, I got a production one that looks like a cube. I'm not going to go into it at this point. But the point I'm trying to say is it takes very little. Once that thing's rotating you could have you know a whole bunch of these and then later on you could shrink the size down. You could make it maybe one fourth the scale which you see here in that. This is a this is the beginning and the end of the prototypes of that. This isn't something that consumes energy. This is going to produce energy. Could you imagine if you just tapped into those hundred thousand lakes? And there's tons of them up there in Canada. Canada has tons of water. They got so many lakes and stuff up there, actually you wouldn't even need coal plants anymore with this technology in Canada if you could adapt it. In underwater you got uh, currents that flow with water and stuff. There's a lot of lakes and stuff and stuff that you could do and you could build put these under you know and you don't need the RPM. You only need a few hundred RPMs to rotate this. It has no heat. It has no magnetic drag. You know very little. And, that. and this could be used for a lot of different things. This technology could actually revolution a lot of things. I don't claim it to be over unity, but I'll tell you what. It takes a lot of torque and a lot of energy to get up to like 4,000 RPMs compared to 300. And then when you factor in your magnetic drag and everything, which this doesn't have, it's not going to slow it down much. You could have water running through... Uh, and make this rotate, make thousands of these go, and you don't need that high water pressure like you need from Hoover Dam. You're talking a lot, a lot of pressure to, to do that, and, and it's very difficult in that. Uh, another thing is, it, it, it's, it doesn't slow it down. I mean, you know, as you, the more you add to it. It, you know, it's not like when it when it kicks in on a load, it doesn't slow down. There's very little, and that's the thing about it. And you could run this thing out forever, and these cams and stuff. And you could really generate power. I mean, a lot of people sit there. They show these generators that they're hooking up something. They got 
all these magnets that are drilled into this thing and repel but they don't have the coils down inside here you have to have lots and lots of coils like this over here lots and lots of coils where you're generating things you're not just hitting up a little diode lights and stuff like it doesn't take much to to light this little thing up here with the lights I mean you're not talking anything we're talking about powering your homes your cars everything you know tapping in the rivers which you couldn't do because you don't have the, the way of getting it up to the RPMs tapping into wind power where you don't need those big blades and stuff to, to get for that torque to do it. it it's really geared down in that this is what basically how much you have to gear this thing down to make it work I mean you imagine this little motor you gotta gear it down instead of across I mean how much torque you got from when you're doing that you, you you know when you're generating electricity you don't have to have it with this technology and each one of these things add up <clears throat> if you can get thousands of them and you're generating power and it's going to pay for itself eventually and a lot of people don't quite understand how this technology is going to play in the fact that how you could tap into things you know, that you couldn't before you could build windmills way smaller you, you need those windmills with those great big huge blades and stuff to do that you know, but you don't need that with this technology you don't need that all, all that power to, to generate the electricity and that and this puts out amps and different things um, I notice in the coils it sometimes they could turn into magnets too when I'm running in inside it inside it out of here sometimes this lever arm will stop it'll stop oscillating that's the reason why it oscillates is because you got magnetic drag inside the coil so if you build your coil and wrap it and do it properly you could test to see what it is with this kind of technology before you're just using sheer power into the technology but this you don't you know when these lever arms stop if it's oscillating and it stops like this and it doesn't move that coil is turned into a magnet and you have magnetic drag so basically you gotta change your magnetic wire you wire differently I'm gonna try out different things like different uh, I'm gonna put multiple coils I'm gonna run some more tests on that and see what it does I've learned that when you wrap wire around this magnet it doesn't help any at all it just everything's all aligned so that's not good and I also learned that it doesn't matter how many wrappings you put or this distance I'm gonna try and see where I can put multiple coils and see if I could hook them together and see what I get all right I'm trying these experiments on this and see what I have but you know this this isn't going to be something like we're Tesla where you got to have lots of power and everything to do it you could do this on very low amount of horsepower where you can't where rugger generators you, you got to have the RPM then you get the magnetic drag to kick in and then it just drags it right down from my last experiment go back to the last video before this you could see how that would really kick it down it was re revving way up and then it slowed way down and that's not good so I'm working on different types of coils there and I'm gonna try different types of magnet wire I got different grades and that and I'm gonna start wrapping them uh, maybe I'll start to show you how I did that and, and see what I come up with so you know I'm, I'm keep working with it Nat uh, I think I got a backer set up and they got a lot of money these people and I'll tell you what you have no idea what you know this thing I know it's kind of weird it's not like anything anybody's ever seen nobody has done it that's these are the things that come out to revolutionize the world it's something that's so weird and different and that's what this is it's really weird it's different and there's nothing like it not even close I'll let you go.